Hello mga math aaral! Welcome to my Taglish Step-by-Step Math Video Tutorial. In this video, I am going to discuss rewriting linear equations ax plus by equals c in the form y equals mx plus b and vice versa. An equation of the form ax plus by equals c can be written in the form y equals mx plus b is a linear equation in two variables. The linear equation x minus y equals negative 1 is in the form ax plus by equals c. You can write this in the form y equals mx plus b as y equals x plus 1. The standard form is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c is an element of real numbers. a and b are not both 0. And the slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. m and b is an element of real numbers. Let's have activity number 1. Transformer part 1. Rewrite the following equations in the form ax plus by equals c. As you can see, yung ax natin at by ay nasa left side ng ating equal sign. At yung c ay nasa right side naman ng ating equation. So let's have number 1. y equals negative 2x plus 4. So for the solution, as you can see, yung ating negative 2x ay nasa right. Dapat nasa left side siya. So, kailangan nating ilipat yung negative 2x sa ating left side ng equation. So, pag nilipat natin ang negative 2x, magiging positive 2x siya. Then, just copy positive y. Then, the equal sign at yung natira dito, which is 4, our constant term. So, as you can see, it is now written in ax plus by equals 4. And for number 2, we have y equals 5x plus 7. Again, yung may x natin ay nasa right. Kailangan mapunta siya sa left. So, ilipat natin yung positive 5x sa left side ng ating equation. So, yung positive 5x ay naging negative 5x. And, just copy positive y equals yung natira dito which is 7. So, as you can see, yung ating ax dito ay negative. Kailangan positive lagi ang ating ax. So, to make this negative 5x positive, Magmultiply tayo both side of the equation ng negative 1. So, nagmultiply ako dito sa left side ng negative 1 at nagmultiply din ako ng negative 1 sa ating right side. So, multiplying now, negative 1 times negative 5x is equal to positive 5x. And negative 1 times positive y is negative y. And then, 7 times negative 1 is equal to negative 7. So, we have now 5x minus y equals negative 7. As you can see, it is written now in the form ax plus by equals c. For number 3, we have y equals 1 half x plus 3. So, since this is a fraction, for us to solve this is 
first, we must find the LCD. So, what is the LCD of this equation? So, we have 2. Why 2? Because it is the only denominator in the given. So, after finding the LCD, multiply the LCD to both sides of the equation. So, yung LCD natin ay 2, i-multiply natin sa left and right ng ating equation. So, I multiply 2 in this side, and then, nag-multiply din ako ng 2 on this side. So, multiplying 2 and y, 2 times y now is equal to 2y. 1 half x times 2 is equal to x. And positive 3 times 2 is equal to positive 6. Yung x natin ay nasa right side. Kailangan natin ilipat ito dito sa kabilang side. So, pag nilipat natin, yung positive x ay magiging negative x. And then, just copy positive 2y equals 6. So, since negative na naman ang ating a dito, kailangan natin mag-multiply both side ng negative 1 para maging positive yung ating x dito. So, multiplying negative 1 to both side, negative 1 now times negative x is equal to positive x. Then, negative 1 times positive 2y is equal to negative 2y equals 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. So, it is now written in the form ax plus by equals c. For number 4, we have y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 5. Again, we have a fraction here. So, to solve this, find the LCD and multiply the LCD to both sides of the equation. So, ang LCD natin dito ay 3. So, i-multiply natin yung 3 sa left and right side of the equation. So, i-multiply 3 here sa left side. Then, nag-multiply din ako ng 3 dito sa right side. So, multiplying this, we have 3 times y is equal to 3y. Then, negative 2 thirds x times 3 is equal to negative 2x. Then, 5 times 3 is equal to positive 15. Now, kailangan nating ilipat ang negative 2x dito sa ating left side ng equation. So, pag nilipat natin ang negative 2x sa left side, ay magiging positive 2x ito. And then, just copy positive 3y equals positive 15. So, as you can see, it is now written in the standard form ax plus by equals c. For number 5, we have y equals negative 5x minus 8. So, para maging ax plus by equals c, itong negative 5x ay ilipat natin siya sa left side ng ating equation. So, dapat andito siya. So, pag nilipat natin ang negative 5x dito sa kabilang side, ay magiging positive 5x siya. And then, just copy positive y equals yung natira natin dito na negative 8. So, as you can see, it is now written in ax plus by equals c. And for the last, we have y equals negative 9x plus 1. So, para maging ax plus by equals c, kailangan na natin ilipat itong negative 9x sa kabilang side. So, Yung negative 9x ay dapat nasa left side. So, yung negative 9x natin, pag nilipat natin sa left, ay magiging positive 9x. Then, just copy positive y equals yung natira dito na positive 1. It is now written in the form ax plus by equals c. 
Now, let's have activity number 2. Transformer part 2. Rewrite the following equations in the form y equals mx plus b. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, dapat y lang yung nandito sa ating left side. Then, sa right side ay yung ating mx plus b. So, kanina yung mga nauna nating examples ay nakasulat sa y equals mx plus b. Naginawa naman nating ax plus by equals c. Ngayon naman gawin natin yung kabaligtaran. Ang magiging given naman natin ay in the form ax plus by equals c at gagawin natin siya sa y equals mx plus b. Tandaan, y lang yung andito sa left side ng ating equation at mx plus b sa right side. So, gawin natin sa number 1, 2x plus y equals positive 8. So, yung y lang dapat ang andito sa left side ng ating equation. So, yung 2x ay kailangan natin siyang ilipat sa right side. So, pag nilipat natin yung positive 2x sa right side, ay magiging negative 2x ito. Ayan. Then, just copy y and the equal sign at yung 8 natin dati sa right side. So, as you can see, it is now written in y equals mx plus b. So, let's have number 2. Negative 4x plus y equals negative 1. So, yung negative 4x ay kailangan nating ilipat sa right side. Kasi dapat y lang yung matira sa ating left side. So, pag nilipat natin yung negative 4x sa kabilang side, magiging positive 4x ito. And then, just copy negative 1 at yung ating y equals. So, as you can see, it is now written in y equals mx plus b. For number 3, we have 6x plus 2y equals 8. So, yung 2y natin ay siya lamang dapat ang nasa left side. So, yung 6x ay kailangan nating ilipat sa right side. So, pag nilipat natin yung 6x dito sa right side, magiging negative 6x na siya. And then, just copy 2y equals yung ating natira dito sa right side which is positive 8. Kailangan matanggal yung 2 dito para y lang ang matira. So, para matanggal yung 2, we divide both sides by 2. So, I divide 2 sa 2y at dun sa negative 6x plus y. So, 2y divided by 2 is equal to y. And negative 6x divided by 2 is equal to negative 3x. At yung 8 divided by 2 ay positive 4. So, it is now written into y equals mx plus b. For number 4, we have 5x minus 7y equals negative 2. So, para maging y equals mx plus b, itong equation na to, ay kailangan nating ilipat yung 5x sa right side ng ating equation. So, pag nilipat natin yung positive 5x dito sa kabilang side, magiging negative 5x na siya. At yung negative 7y na lang ang natira sa left side. Then just copy negative 2. 
Kailangan matanggal yung negative 7 dito para y lang ang matira. So, para matanggal yung negative 7 natin dito, ay mag-divide tayo both side ng negative 7. So, negative 7y divided by negative 7 is equal to y. And negative 5x divided by negative 7 negative 7 is equal to positive 5 over 7x. Bakit siya naging positive? Kasi negative divided by negative is always positive. Negative 2 divided by negative 7, since pareho na namang negative, magiging positive 2 over 7. Now, let's have the last number 5. 16x minus 8y equals 3. So, para maging y equals mx plus b, itong equation na ito, kailangan yung negative y lang yung nandito sa left side. Kailangan nating ilipat yung 16x sa kabilang side. So, pag nilipat natin yung 16x, dito sa right side, magiging negative 16x ito. And then, just copy positive 3 at yung nandito na lamang ay negative y. So, para matanggal yung ating negative 8 dito, ay kailangan natin mag-divide both side ng negative 8. So, negative 8 y divided by negative 8 is equal to y. Negative 16x divided by negative 8 is equal to positive 2x. And positive 3 divided by negative 8 is negative 3 over 8. So as you can see, it is now written in the form y equals mx plus B. Thank you for watching mga mat aaral. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my YouTube channel. Until next time, God bless!